Hello Bodgers, welcome to another edition of Bodging and Building. I'm going to do something slightly different in this one. Instead of baking terrain, we are going to repurpose a toy. So a little while ago, I got this um, Hercules McDonald's Cyclops. And I really liked it and I painted it up and I was really proud of it. So I decided I was going to buy another one and do it again. Um, but I wanted to make sure it came out different. So here's what I did. So first things first, I gave it a white spray. Uh, this would actually prove to be a fault as I needed to redo it again later, but never mind. So first things first, how to make him different. Let's give him some clothing slash armory type stuff. So I started off a bit of cardboard uh, folded in half uh, to make him a strap or a bandolier or whatever you want to call it across his chest. So I had this uh, spiky shoulder thing that I took from a Skylanders figure um, and I decided that was going to be a very cool pauldron, I think they're called, uh, to go on the top of the strap here. After super gluing that on, I decided his loincloth was a bit plasticky and solid, so I wanted to make him a loincloth, and I used the same technique as I used in my throne build for the um, flags, the banners, uh, where I just put down a load of PVA glue on some parchment paper, put a tissue down, and more PVA glue on the top. But this time I did decide I was going to paint it the brown I wanted it to be, um, just so that the paint and the ink, no, the paint and the glue would cause some um, different variation in colour. I think it came out quite well. I made him some arm guards and cut some spikes from the end of toothpicks and glued them on just to give him a spiky arm guard. And on the other arm I also made a uh, arm guard and leather straps around his arm and put a sword on the end uh, to give him like a, a almost an Assassin's Creed hidden blade kind of thing going on. The other thing I thought would be a good way to change him up from the old one I did was to try and change that column in his hand to something different. So I got the old clay out and I sculpted him and um, textured in a wooden club. Uh, and then I took some golf tees and cut the ends off to put spikes in the end of the club. Not the greatest bit of um, sculpting, but not too bad. And this is how he looked thus far. As you can see on his chest where I'd super glued the strap across, um, the uh, paint kind of rubbed away, which as I say, I wanted to uh, repaint it again. Um, also, if you look at his head, I used a little tiny bit of clay just to give him more of a forehead, just to change the shape of the eye and make him look facially a little bit different as well. I also managed to find a thing in my Warhammer bits box that kind of looked like a ponytail, so I stuck that on the top of his head as well, just to, again, make him look that a little bit different. You can see the comparison of the two here. I think um, it worked quite nicely, just giving him that little bit of a furrowed brow and doing the, the uh, eyebrow on it, just to make him look different. Um, I was quite happy with how this went to make him look different. Uh, so next up was adding on the loincloth that I made for him which again I was very happy with I think it came out quite nicely and I do really like that technique of the PVA with the tissue and then more PVA it's um, it's still movable and pliable but it's uh, solid enough to to maintain the shape that you want and it gives the wrinkles as well so then time to paint him so I bunged on a flesh tone uh, which was very nice. Gave it a, it's a different one to the old one, it's a slightly darker one, looks like he's been out in the sun. And then I started painting the accoutrements. I went for a red uh, on the shoulder pad, it's a bit of a homage, uh, I'm a wrestling fan. And there was an old tag team called the Legion of Doom, wore red and black spiky shoulder pad, so I decided that was going to be the theme for it.
And here we have him with a few more details added in, a few more colours, the strap black, the, uh, the club painted up, his eye added in, um, and that was pretty much it for the figure. But then, you've got to give a cool looking figure, or I think a cool looking figure, a base. So we work on a base. Decided this Cyclops was going to have a bit of a cave theme, so I cut him his, uh, his little base out of MDF or the chipboard or whatever it is, and then I got some uh, XPS foam and I cut that to the same size. Then cut the pieces up a bit to give it a broken ground, and also I cut them to different heights so it wasn't all uniform, uh, just to again give it that natural broken up uh, feeling. Cut and glued in some stalagmites and then added a load of PVA glue and added on some uh, sand and grit to give it a natural base. So once that was all done it was time to black bomb it and then start the dry brushing. So I dry brushed it with three different uh, greys. All I did was made a very dark grey and then added some more white to it and then some more white to it and just dry brushed with each different tone, finally doing a very small amount of actual white. I then used some uh, Earthshade, contra uh, sorry, Earthshade uh, Citadel paint just to make it look a bit more organic and then made up these tiny little mushrooms and then it was time to glue it all together. So there we go guys, there he is all finished. I decided we had to hide a few skulls in there because what's D&D without a few skulls? I'm really happy with how this turned out. I liked my original Cyclops and I think I like this one even better. Um, and just seeing the two of them next to each other you can see they're worlds apart which I think is brilliant having the two very different looking end results from the same very basic figure. Well. I think it looks cool. You guys may agree, you may not. Let me know down below. What would you have done differently? How would you have done it? Would you not have bothered at all? Let me know. Uh, I'm really intrigued to hear from you. So until next time, guys, keep on bodging, keep on building, and I'll see you next time.